How long is the Grand Canyon? The Grand Canyon, cut out by the Colorado River over a period of 15 million years in the northwest corner of Arizona, is the largest land gorge in the world. It is 4 to 13 miles, 6.4 to 21 kilometers, wide at its brim, 4,000 to 5,500 feet, 1,219 to 1,676 meters. Deep, and 217 miles, 349 kilometers, long, extending from the mouth of the Little Colorado River to Grand Wash Cliffs. And 277 miles, 600 feet 445.88 kilometers if Marble Canyon is included. However, it is not the deepest canyon in the United States, that distinction belongs to Kings Canyon. Which runs through the Sierra and Sequoia National Forests near East Fresno. California, with its deepest point being 8,200 feet, 2,500 meters. Hell's Canyon of the Snake River between Idaho and Oregon is the deepest U.S. Canyon in Lower Leaf Territory. Also called the Grand Canyon of the Snake. It plunges 7,900 feet, 2,408 meters, down from Devil Mountain to the Snake River. How loud is thunder? A clap of thunder can be as loud as 120 decibels, which is comparable to the noise at a rock concert, a chainsaw, or a pneumatic drill. Who owns the forests in the United States? Private individuals own 57% of the forest in the United States. The remaining forest area land is owned by the federal government, 20%. Corporations, 15%, and state and local governments, 8%. What is meant by the modern era of genetics? Mendel's work was really not appreciated until advances. In cytology enabled scientists to better study cells. In 1900, Hugo de Vries, 1848-1935, of Holland, Karl Korins, 1864-1933, of Germany, and Erich von Tschirmich. 1871-1962, of Austria examined Mendel's original 1865 paper and repeated the experiments. In the following years chromosomes were discovered as discrete structures within the nucleus of a cell. In 1917, Thomas Hunt Morgan, 1866-1945, a fruit fly geneticist at Columbia University, extended Mendel's findings to the structure and function of chromosomes. This and subsequent findings in the 1950s were the beginning of the modern era of genetics. Why does blood in the veins look blue?
Since venous blood is oxygen poor blood, it is not as bright red as arterial blood. It appears as a deep, dark red, almost purplish color. Seeing blue blood in veins through the skin is a combination of light passing through the skin and the oxygen poor blood. What is a Yazoo? A Yazoo is a tributary of a river that runs parallel to the river. Being prevented from joining the river because the river has built up high banks. The name is derived from the Yazoo River. A tributary of the Mississippi River, which demonstrates this effect. What are designer drugs, such as China White? Designer drugs are synthesized chemicals that resemble such available narcotics as fentanyl and meperidine. China White, 3 methyl fentanyl, is one of these drugs and is an analog of fentanyl. It is 3,000 times more potent than morphine. Even small amounts can be fatal. And it has been responsible for more than 100 overdose deaths in California. What is Zeno's paradox? Zeno of Elia, c. 490 c. 425 BCE, a Greek philosopher and mathematician, is famous for his paradoxes, which deal with the continuity of motion. One form of the paradox is, if an object moves with constant speed along a straight line, from point zero to point one, the object must first cover half the distance, one half. Then half the remaining distance, one fourth, then half the remaining distance, one eighth, and so on without end. The conclusion is that the object never reaches point one. Because there is always some distance to be covered, motion is impossible. In another approach to this paradox, Zeno used an allegory telling of a race between a tortoise and Achilles, who could run 100 times as fast. Where the tortoise started running 10 rods, 165 feet, in front of Achilles. Because the tortoise always advanced 1 slash 100 of the distance that Achilles advanced in the same time period. It was theoretically impossible for Achilles to pass him. The English mathematician and writer Charles Dodgson, better known as Lewis Carroll, used the characters of Achilles and the tortoise to illustrate his paradox of infinity. What is an algorithm? An algorithm is a set of clearly defined rules and instructions for the solution of a problem. It is not necessarily applied only in computers. But can be a step-by-step -step procedure for solving any particular kind of problem.
A nearly 4,000-year-old Babylonian banking calculation inscribed on a tablet is an algorithm. As is a computer program that consists of step-by-step -step procedures for solving a problem. The term is derived from the name of Muhammad ibn Musa al-Kharizmi, C780-C850. A Baghdad mathematician who introduced Hindu numerals, including zero, and decimal calculation to the West, when his treatise was translated into Latin in the 12th century. The art of computation with Arabic, Hindu, numerals became known as algorithm. Who is regarded as the founder of American geology? Born in Scotland, American William McClure, 1763-1840, was a member of a commission set up to Settle claims between the United States and France from 1803 through 1807 in 1809 he made a geographical chart of the United States in which the land areas were divided by rock types. In 1817 he revised and enlarged this map. McClure wrote the first English language articles and books on U.S. geology. Who invented the pacemaker? Paul Zoll, 1911 to 1999, invented an electric stimulator device to deliver electrical impulses to the heart externally. In 1958, Biomedical engineer Wilson Great Batch, 1919, in cooperation with Drs. William M. Chardak. 1915-2006, and Andrew A. Gage, 1922, invented the first internal pacemaker. It was a small, flat, plastic disc powered by a battery. It was implanted into the body and connected by wires sewn directly onto the heart. The wires emitted rhythmic electric impulses to trigger the heart's action. Pacemaker batteries now last from 6 to 10 years. Who received the first heart transplant? On December 3, 1967, in Cape Town, South Africa, Dr. Christian Barnard, 1922-2001, and a team of 30 associates performed the first heart transplant. In a five-hour operation the heart of Denise and Darville, 1943-1967, age 25, an auto accident victim was transplanted into the body of Louis Washinsky, 1913-1967, a 55-year-old wholesale grocer. Washinsky lived for 18 days before dying from pneumonia. The first heart transplant performed in the United States was on a 2.5-week-old baby boy at Maimonides Hospital. Brooklyn, New York on December 6, 1967, by Dr. Adrian Kantrowitz. 1918-2008, the baby boy lived 6.5 hours. The first adult to receive a heart transplant in the United States was Mike Kasparak. 
1914-1968, age 54, at the Stanford Medical Center in Palo Alto, California, on January 6, 1968. Dr. Norman Shumway, 1923-2006, performed the operation. Mr. Kasparak lived 14 days. Almost no transplants were done in the 1970s because of the problem of rejection of the new heart by the recipient's immune system. In 1969, Jean-François Borel, 1933, discovered the anti-rejection drug cyclosporin. But it was not widely used until 1983 when the FDA granted approval. Today heart transplantation is an established medical procedure with two. 212 transplants performed in 2009. The percentage of patients surviving three years is more than 80%. How is there enough room in the chest cavity to accommodate a pair of lungs filled with air? A pair of lungs filled with air contains the same volume of air. As in eight large soda bottles more than 1.5 gallons, 6 liters. In order to accommodate this volume, muscles raise and expand the rib cage while the diaphragm. A domed muscular sheet under the lungs, flattens with each breath inhaled. Which two gems contain the mineral corundum? Both rubies and sapphires contain the mineral corundum, Al203. Chromium, Cr, ions replace small amounts of aluminum in rubies giving them their characteristic red color. In sapphires, iron, Fe, and titanium, Ti. Ions replace some of the aluminum producing the characteristic blue color. What is DNA? Deoxyribonucleic acid, DNA, is the genetic material for all cellular organisms. The discovery of The structure of DNA is considered the most important molecular discovery of the 20th century. What adverse effects may a person who is allergic to sulfites experience? Sulfites are chemical agents used to prevent discoloration in dried fruits and freshly cut vegetables. They are also used by winemakers to inhibit bacterial growth and fermentation. If a person is allergic to sulfites, he or she can develop breathing difficulties within minutes of consuming food or drink containing sulfites. Reactions to sulfites can include acute asthma attacks, loss of consciousness, and anaphylactic shock. Why do all newborn babies have blue eyes? The melanin in newborns is concentrated in the folds of the iris. 
when a baby is a few months old. The melanin moves to the surface of the iris and gives the baby his or her permanent eye color. What is a slide rule, and who invented it? Up until about 1974, most engineering and design calculations for buildings, bridges, automobiles, airplanes, and roads were done on a slide rule. A slide rule is an apparatus with movable scales based on logarithms, which were invented by John Napier, Baron of Merchiston, and published in 1614. The slide rule can, among other things, quickly multiply, divide, square root, or find the logarithm of a number. In 1620, Edmund Gunter, 1581-1626, of Gresham College, London, England. Described an immediate forerunner of the slide rule, his logarithmic line of numbers. William Uftred, 1574-1660, rector of Aldbury, England, made the first rectilinear slide rule in 1621. This slide rule consisted of two logarithmic scales that could be manipulated together for calculation. His former pupil, Richard Delamain, published a description of a circular slide rule in 1630, and received a patent about that time for it, three years before Uftred published a description of his invention. At least one source says that Delamain published in 1620. Uftred accused Delamain of stealing his idea. But evidence indicates that the inventions were probably arrived at independently. The earliest existing straight slide rule using the modern design of a slider moving in a fixed stock dates from 1654. A wide variety of specialized slide rules were developed by the end of the 17th century for trades such as masonry, carpentry, and excise tax collecting. Peter Mark Roger 1779 to 1869, best known for his thesaurus of English words and phrases. Invented a log log slide rule for calculating the roots and powers of numbers in 1814. In 1967, Hewlett Packard produced the first pocket calculators. Within a decade, Slide rules became the subject of science trivia and collector's books. Interestingly, slide rules were carried on five of the Apollo space missions, including a trip to the moon. They were known to be accurate and efficient in the event of a computer malfunction. How many flowers need to be tapped for bees to gather enough nectar to produce one pound of honey? Bees must gather 4 pounds, 1.8 grams, of nectar. Which requires the bees to tap about 2 million flowers, in order to produce one pound, 454 grams, of honey. The honey is gathered by worker bees, whose lifespan is three to six weeks. Long enough to collect about a teaspoon of nectar. What are the main components found in motor vehicle exhaust?
the main components of exhaust gas are nitrogen, carbon dioxide, and water. Smaller amounts of nitrogen oxides, carbon monoxide, hydrocarbons, aldehydes, and other products of incomplete combustion are also present. The most important air pollutants, in order of amount produced, are carbon monoxide, nitrogen oxides, and hydrocarbons. What organisms are included in the kingdom fungi? Members of the kingdom fungi range from single cellulid yeasts to Armillaria ostoi, a species that covers 2,220 acres, 890 hectares. Also included are mushrooms that are commonly consumed, the black mold that forms on stale bread, the mildew that grows on damp shower curtains, rusts, smuts, puff balls, toadstools, shelf fungi, and the death cap mushroom, Ammonita phalloides. Of the bewildering variety of organisms that live on the planet Earth, Perhaps the most unusual and peculiarly different from human beings are fungi. Fungi are able to rot timber, attack living plants, spoil food, and afflict humans with athlete's foot and even worse maladies. Fungi also decompose dead organisms, fallen leaves, and other organic materials. In addition, they produce antibiotics and other drugs, make bread rise, and ferment beer and wine. Why is the white birch known as paper birch? The outer layer of the birch tree grows in sheet-like layers. Hence it has been known as paper birch. It is the same tree that Native Americans used to make paper birch canoes. What is the difference between poison ivy, oak, and shumac? These North American woody plants grow in almost any habitat and are quite similar in appearance. Each variety of plant has three leaf compounds that alternate berry like fruits and rusty brown stems. Poison ivy. Russ Roddy cans, grows like a vine rather than a shrub and can grow very high. Covering tall, stationary items such as trees. The fruit of our Roddy cans is gray in color and is without hair, and the leaves of the plant are slightly lobed. Russ Toxicodendron, commonly known as poison oak, usually grows as a shrub but it can also climb. Its leaflets are lobed and resemble the leaves of oak trees, and its fruit is hairy. Poison shumac, Russ vernix, grows only in acidic, wet swamps of North America. This shrub can grow as high as 12 feet, 3.6 meters. The fruit it produces hangs in a cluster and ranges from grey to brown in color. Poison shumac has dark green leaves that are sharply pointed, compound. And alternating, it also has inconspicuous flowers that are yellowish green. 
All parts of poison ivy, poison oak, and poison shumac can cause serious dermatitis. When did modern weather forecasting begin? On May 14, 1692, a weekly newspaper, a collection for the improvement of husbandry and trade. Gave a seven-day table with pressure and wind readings for the comparable dates of the previous year. Readers were expected to make up their own forecasts from the data. Other journals soon followed with their own weather features. In 1771, a new journal called the Monthly Weather Paper was completely devoted to weather prediction. The first daily newspaper weather report was published on August 31, 1848 in the Daily News in London. The first daily weather forecast was published in the Times of London in 1860 the first broadcast of weather forecasts was done by the University of Wisconsin Station 9XM at Madison, Wisconsin, on January 3, 1921. What are the natural predators of the penguin? The leopard seal, Hydrarga leptinix, is the principal predator of both the adult and juvenile penguin. The penguin may also be caught by a killer whale while swimming in open water. Eggs and chicks that are not properly guarded by adults are often devoured by skuas and sheath bills. When is a sonic boom heard? As long as an airborne object, such as a plane, is moving below the speed of sound. Called Mach 1, the disturbed air remains well in front of the craft. But as the craft passes Mach 1 and is flying at supersonic speeds, a sharp air pressure rise occurs in front of the craft. In a sense, the air molecules are crowded together and collectively impact. What is heard is a clap like thunder called a sonic boom or a supersonic bang. There are many shocks coming from a supersonic aircraft, but these shocks usually combine to form two main shocks. One coming from the nose and one from the aft end of the aircraft. Each of the shocks moves at a different velocity. If the time difference between the two shock waves is greater than 0.10 seconds apart, Two sonic booms will be heard. This usually occurs when an aircraft ascends or descends quickly. If the aircraft moves more slowly, the two booms will sound like only one boom to the listener. What are the components of a gene? The term gene describes a section of DNA that will be used as a template to build a strand of RNA or protein. In addition to this information, each gene also contains a promoter region, which indicates where the coding information actually begins, and a terminator, which delineates the end of the gene.
Why is Legionnaire's disease known by that name? Legionnaire's disease was first identified in 1976 when a sudden, virulent outbreak of pneumonia took place at a hotel in Philadelphia. Pennsylvania, where delegates to an American Legion convention were staying. The cause was eventually identified as a previously unknown bacterium that was given the name Legionella pneumophilia. The bacterium probably was transmitted by an airborne route. It can spread through cooling tower or evaporation condensers in air conditioning systems and has been known to flourish in soil and excavation sites. Usually, the disease occurs in late summer or early fall. And its severity ranges from mild to life-threatening, with a mortality rate as high as 15%. Symptoms include diarrhea, anorexia, malaise, headache, generalized weakness. Recurrent chills, and fever accompanied by cough, nausea, and chest pain. Antibiotics such as erythroicin, TM, are administered along with other therapies. Fluid replacement, oxygen, etc., that treat the symptoms. What was the environmental significance of Rachel Carson's Silent Spring? In the book Silent Spring, published in 1962, Rachel Carson 1907-1964, exposed the dangers of pesticides, particularly DDT to the reproduction of species that prey upon the insects for which the pesticide was intended. Silent Spring raised the public awareness and is considered a pivotal point at the beginning of the environmental movement. How do sound waves differ from light waves? Waves consist of a series of motions in regular succession carrying energy from one place to another without moving any matter. Periodic waves include ocean waves, sound waves, and electromagnetic waves. Visible light and radio waves are electromagnetic waves. Mechanical waves such as ocean waves and sound waves, involve matter. But it is important to remember that there is no transport of matter. The water in an ocean wave does not move from one location to another merely the energy of the wave is transported. Light waves involve only energy without matter. How much newspaper must be recycled to save one tree? One thirty-five to forty foot, ten point six to twelve meter tree produces a stack of newspapers four feet, one point two meters thick. This much newspaper must be recycled to save a tree. What is the most commonly broken bone?
the clavicle, collarbone, is probably one of the most frequently fractured. Bones in the body due to its vulnerable position and relative thinness. Fractured clavicles are caused by either a direct blow or a transmitted force resulting from a fall on the outstretched arm. What plants can be used to determine blood type? Lectins proteins that bind to carbohydrates on cell surfaces found in lotus plants. As well as jack and lima beans can be used to determine a person's blood type. Lectins bind to glycoproteins present on the plasma membrane of red blood cells. Because the cells of different blood types have distinct glycoproteins. Cells of each blood type bind to a specific lectin. How is the value of a diamond determined? Demand, beauty, durability, rarity, freedom from defects and perfection of cutting generally determine the value of a gemstone. But the major factor in establishing the price of gem diamonds is the control over output and price as exercised by the Central Selling Organizations, CSO, Diamond Trading Corporation LTD. The CSO is a subsidiary of De Beers Consolidated Mines LTD. What is the origin of the term cell? The term cell was first used by Robert Hooke, an English scientist who described cells. He observed in a slice of cork in 1665, using a microscope that magnified 30 times. Hook identified little chambers or compartments in the cork that he called celluli. A Latin term meaning little rooms because they reminded him of the cells inhabited by monks. It is from this word that we got the modern term cell. He calculated that one square inch of cork would contain 1,259,712,000 of these tiny chambers or cells. What wood is the favorite for butcher's blocks? Because of its resilience, the preferred wood for making butcher's blocks is derived from the American sycamore. Platanus occidentalis, also known as the American plane tree, buttonball, buttonwood, and water beech. The wood of Platanus occidentalis is also used as veneers, for decorative surfaces, fence posts, and fuel. How did a total solar eclipse confirm Einstein's theory of general relativity? when formulating his theory of general relativity. Albert Einstein proposed that the curvature of space near a massive object like the Sun would bend light that passed close by. For example, a star seen near the edge of the Sun during an eclipse. 
would appear to have shifted by 1.75 arc seconds from its usual place. The British astronomer Arthur Eddington, 1882 to 1944, confirmed Einstein's hypothesis during an eclipse on May 29. 1919 the subsequent attention given to Eddington's Findings helped establish Einstein's reputation as one of science's greatest figures. What's the difference between a bit and a byte? Byte, a common unit of computer storage holds the equivalent of a single character. Such as a letter, a, a number, two, a symbol, dollar, a decimal point, or a space. It is usually equivalent to eight data bits and one parity bit. A bit, a binary digit, the smallest unit of information in a digital computer is equivalent to a single zero or one. The parity bit is used to check for errors in the bits making up the byte. Eight data bits per byte is the most common size used by computer manufacturers. Who is considered the founder of physiology? As an experimenter, Claude Bernard, 1813-1878 Enriched physiology by his introduction of numerous new concepts into the field. The most famous of these concepts is that of the milieu interior or internal environment. The complex functions of the various organs are closely interrelated and are all directed to maintaining the constancy of internal conditions despite external changes. All cells exist in this aqueous, blood and lymph, internal environment, which bathes the cells and provides a medium for the elementary exchange of nutrients and waste material. What is a reformulated gasoline? Oil companies are being required to offer new gasolines that burn more cleanly and have less impact on the environment. Typically, reformulated gasoline, RFG, contains lower concentrations of benzene, aromatics, and olefins, less sulfur, a lower reed vapor pressure, RVP, and some percentage of an oxygenate. Non-aromatic component, such as methyl tertiary butyl ether, MTBE. MTBE is a high-octane gasoline blending component produced by the reaction of isobutylene and methanol. It was developed to meet the ozone ambient air quality standards. But its unique characteristics as a water pollutant pose a challenge to the Environmental Protection Agency, EPA. In meeting the requirements of the Clean Air Act, the Safe Drinking Water Act, and the underground storage tank program. The Clean Air Act called for reformulated gasoline to be sold in the cities with the worst smog pollution beginning January 1. 1995 reformulated gasoline is now used in 17 cities and the District of Columbia.
Are there trees that predict the weather and tell time? Observing the leaves of a tree may be an old-fashioned method of predicting the weather. But farmers have noted that when maple leaves curl and turn bottom up in a blowing wind, rain is sure to follow. Woodsmen claim they can tell how rough a winter is going to be by the density of lichens on a nut tree. Trees can also be extraordinary timekeepers, Griffonia, in tropical West Africa, has 2 inch, 5 cm. Inflated pods that burst with a hearty noise, indicating that it is time for farmers of the Acre Plains to plant crops. Trichilia is a 60-foot, 18-meter, tree that flowers in February and again in August. Signaling that it is time, just before the second rains arrive, for the second planting of corn. In the Fiji Islands, planting yams is cued by the flowering of the coral tree. What is the difference between passive solar energy systems and active solar energy systems? Passive solar energy systems use the architectural design, the natural materials, or absorptive structures of the building as an energy saving system. The building itself serves as a solar collector and storage device. An example would be thick walled stone and adobe dwellings that slowly collect heat during the day and gradually release it at night. Passive systems require little or no investment of external equipment. Active solar energy systems require a separate collector a storage device and controls linked to pumps or fans that draw heat from storage when it is available. Active solar systems generally pump a heat absorbing fluid medium. Air, water or an antifreeze solution through a collector. Collectors such as insulated water tanks vary in size. Depending on the number of sunless days in a locale. Another heat storage system uses eutectic, phase changing chemicals to store a large amount of energy in a small volume. Who were the first man and woman to walk in space? On March 18, 1965, the Soviet cosmonaut Alexei Leonov, 1934, became the first person to walk in space when he spent 10 minutes outside his Fosco 2 spacecraft. The first woman to walk in space was Soviet cosmonaut Svetlana Savitskaya, 1947, who during her second flight aboard the Soyuz T-12, July 17, 1984, performed 3.5 hours of extravehicular activity. The first American to walk in space was Edward White II, 1930-1967, from the spacecraft Gemini 4 on June 3. 1965 White spent 22 minutes floating free attached to the Gemini by a lifeline. The photos of White floating in space are perhaps some of the most familiar of all space shots. Catherine D. Sullivan 1951, became the first American woman to walk in space when she spent 
3.5 hours outside the Challenger orbiter during the Space Shuttle Mission 41G on October 11, 1984. American astronaut Bruce McCandless II, 1937, performed the first untethered spacewalk from the Space Shuttle Challenger on February 7, 1984, using an MMU, Manual Maneuvering Unit, Backpack. Who first observed that the number of rings in the cross section of a tree trunk indicates its age? The painter Leonardo da Vinci, 1452-1519, noticed this phenomenon. He also saw that the year's dampness can be determined by the space between the tree's rings. The farther apart the rings, the more moisture there was in the ground around the tree. Charles Darwin's, 1809-1882, ideas on evolution began to influence. Systems of classification during the late 19th century. The first major phylogenetic system of plant classification. Was proposed around the close of the 19th century. Dinator lichen plants and family, the natural plant families, one of the most complete phylogenetic. Systems of classification and still in use through the 21st century. Was published between 1887 to 1915 by the German botanists Adolf Engler, 1844 to 1930, and Karl Prantl, 1849 to 1893. Their system recognizes about 100,000 species of plants, organized by their presumed evolutionary sequence. Systems of classifications were also developed during the 20th century. Some works focused on groups of plants, especially flowering plants, rather than all plants. Charles Bessie, 1845-1915, was the first American scientist to publish a system of classification in the early 20th century. Cladistics is one of the newest approaches to classification. It is often defined as a set of concepts and methods for determining cladograms, which portray branching patterns of evolution. Where are the northernmost and southernmost points of land? The most northern point of land is Cape Morris Cay. Jessup on the northeastern extremity of Greenland. It is at 83 degrees, 39 minutes north latitude and is 440 miles, 708 kilometers, from the North Pole. However, the Guinness Book of Records reports that an islet of 100 feet 30 meters, across, called Udak, is more northerly at 83 degrees. 40 minutes north latitude and 438.9 miles, 706 kilometers, from the North Pole. The southernmost point of land is the South Pole, since the South Pole, unlike the North Pole, is on land. In the United States, the northernmost point of land is Point Barrow, Alaska, 71 degrees. 23 minutes north latitude, and the southernmost point of land is Kalat or South Cape. 
18 degrees, 55 minutes north latitude, on the island of Hawaii. In the 48 contiguous states. The northernmost point is Northwest Angle, Minnesota, 49 degrees, 23 minutes north latitude. The southernmost point is Key West, Florida, 24 degrees, 33 minutes north latitude. What is lithotripsy? Lithotripsy is the use of ultrasonic or shock waves to pulverize kidney stones. Calculi, allowing the small particles to be excreted or removed from the body. There are two different methods, extracorporeal shock wave lithotripsy, ESWL, and percutaneous lithotripsy. The ESWL method, used on smaller stones. Breaks up the stones with external shock waves from a machine called a lithotripter. This technique has eliminated the need for more invasive stone surgery in many cases. For larger stones, a type of endoscope, called a nephroscope, is inserted into the kidney through a small incision. The ultrasonic waves from the nephroscope shatter the stones. And the fragments are removed through the nephroscope. What is a Mobius strip? A Mobius strip is a surface with only one side, usually made by connecting the two ends of a rectangular strip of paper after putting a half twist, 180 degrees relative to the opposite side, in the strip. Cutting a Mobius strip in half down the center of the length of the strip results in a single band with four half twists. Devised by the German mathematician August Ferdinand Mobius, 1790-1868, to illustrate the properties of one-sided surfaces. It was presented in a paper that was not discovered or published until after his death. Another 19th-century German mathematician, Johann Benedict Listing. 1808-1882 developed the idea independently at the same time. When was cement first used? Cements are finely ground powders that, when mixed with water, set to a hard mass. The cement used by the Egyptians was calcined gypsum. And both the Greeks and Romans used a cement of calcined limestone. Roman concrete, a mixture of cement, sand, and some other fine aggregate, was made of broken brick embedded in a pozzolanic lime mortar. This mortar consisted of lime putty mixed with brick dust or volcanic ash. Hardening was produced by a prolonged chemical reaction. Between these components in the presence of moisture. With the decline of the Roman Empire, concrete fell into disuse. The first step toward its reintroduction was in 1756, when English engineer John Smeaton 1724-1792 found that when lime containing a certain amount of clay was burned, it would set under water. 
This cement resembled what had been made by the Romans. Further investigations by James Parker in the same decade led to the commercial production of natural hydraulic cement. In 1824, Englishman Joseph Aspden, 1799-1855, obtained a patent for what he called Portland cement. A material produced from a synthetic mixture of limestone and clay. He called it Portland because it resembled a building stone. That was quarried on the Isle of Portland off the coast of Dorset. The manufacture of the cement spread rapidly to Europe and the United States by 1870. Today, concrete is often reinforced or pressed rest, increasing its load-bearing capabilities. What is the Rasmussen Report? Dr. Norman Rasmussen, 1927 to 2003, of the Massachusetts Institute of Technology, MIT, conducted a study of nuclear reactor safety for the U.S. Atomic Energy Commission. The 1975 study cost four million dollars and took three years to complete. It concluded that the odds against a worst-case accident occurring were astronomically large 10 million to 1. The worst-case accident projected about 3,000 early deaths and $14 billion in property damage due to contamination. Cancers occurring later due to the event might number 1,500 per year. The study concluded that the safety features engineered into a plant are very likely to prevent serious consequences from a meltdown. Other groups criticized the Rasmussen report and declared that the estimates of risk were too low. After the Chernobyl disaster in 1986, some scientists estimated that a major nuclear accident might in fact happen every decade. Which protest is an indicator of polluted water? Euglenoids are unicellular flagellates. Many euglenoids are capable of photosynthesis and are autotrophic. They are commonly found in freshwater ponds and puddles. Others do not carry on photosynthesis and are heterotrophic. Often found in water with large amounts of organic material. Euglenoids frequently serve as bioindicators and are found in large numbers in polluted waters. Why is liquid water more dense than ice? Pure liquid water is most dense at 39.2 degrees Fahrenheit 3.98 degrees Celsius and decreases in density as it freezes. The water molecules in ice are held in a relatively rigid geometric pattern by their hydrogen bonds. Producing an open, porous structure. Liquid water has fewer bonds, therefore. More molecules can occupy the same space, making liquid water more dense than ice.
What is killer algae? Collar pataxifolia, killer algae, was introduced to the Mediterranean Sea in the mid-1980s when the Oceanographic Museum in Monaco dumped the bright green seaweed into the sea while cleaning the aquarium tanks. Collar pataxifolia now covers 32,000 acres of the coasts of France, Spain, Italy, and Croatia devastating the Mediterranean ecosystem. The species continues to invade the Mediterranean today and appears to be unstoppable. What is aromatherapy? Holistic medicine looks at the health of the whole individual. And treatments emphasize the connection of mind, body, and spirit. Aromatherapy involves using particular scents derived from essential oils to influence emotions and to treat and cure minor ailments. It is based on the fact that the olfactory and emotional centers of the body are connected. By inhaling different aromas, emotional concerns as well as physical complaints are said to be eased. The term aromatherapy was first used by René Maurice Gattafossi. 1881-1950, a French perfume chemist. He discovered the healing powers of Lavender oil following a laboratory accident during which he burned his hand. Gattafossi began to investigate the properties of lavender oil and other essential oils and published a book on plant extracts. During aromatherapy treatments, essential oils are absorbed through breath or the pores of the skin. This process triggers certain physiological responses. Why are lightning rods important? The lightning rod was invented by Benjamin Franklin, 1706 to 1790. Around 1750 following his experiment with the kite and the key. In 1752, Franklin tied a metal key to the end of kite string and flew it during a thunderstorm. Franklin suspected that lightning was a natural form of electricity. He knew that if lightning was electricity, it would be attracted to the metal key. When sparks jumped from the metal key, he understood that electrical current had traveled from the electrified air above down the kite string to the key. This experiment confirmed that lightning is an electrical phenomenon. A lightning rod is often placed on the top of buildings to attract lightning bolts. They are designed to provide a safe path to ground the electricity so that it does not damage the building. In recent years, lightning rods have become even more important because the metal pipes that used to be Installed for indoor plumbing and could serve as lightning rods are being replaced by non-conductive PVC pipes. What are the functions of the spleen? The primary function of the spleen is the filtering of 
blood and removal of abnormal blood cells by phagocytosis. The spleen also stores iron from worn out blood cells, which is then returned to the circulation and used by the bone marrow to produce new blood cells. The immune reaction begins in the spleen with the activation of immune response by B cells and T cells in response to antigens in the blood. Who invented the cyclotron? The cyclotron was invented by Ernest Lawrence, 1901-1958, at the University of California. Berkeley, in 1934, to study the nuclear structure of the atom. The cyclotron produced high-energy particles that were accelerated outwards. In a spiral rather than through an extremely long, linear accelerator. What is Buckminster Fullerene? It is a large molecule in the shape of a soccer ball, containing 60 carbon atoms, whose structure is the shape of a truncated icosahedron, a hollow, spherical object with 32 faces. 12 of them pentagons and the rest hexagons. This molecule was named Buckminster Fullerene because of the structure's resemblance to the geodesic domes designed by American architect R. Buckminster Fuller, 1895-1983. The molecule was formed by vaporizing material from a graphite surface with a laser. Large molecules containing only carbon atoms have been known to exist around certain types of carbon-rich stars. Similar molecules are also thought to be present in soot. Formed during the incomplete combustion of organic materials. Chemist Richard Smalley, 1943-2005, identified Buckminster Fullerene in 1985 and speculated that it may be fairly common throughout the universe. Since that time, other stable, large, even-numbered carbon clusters have been produced. This new class of molecules has been called full errands. Since they all seem to have the structure of a geodesic dome, they are also popularly known as Bucky Balls. Buckminster Fullerene, C60, seems to function as an insulator, conductor, semiconductor, and superconductor in various compounds. Although no practical application has yet to be developed for it or the other full errands. Research is expected to result in new types of materials, lubricants, coatings, catalysts, electro-optical devices, and medical applications. What is good and bad cholesterol? Chemically a lipid, cholesterol is an important constituent of body cells. This fatty substance, produced mostly in the liver, is involved in bile salt and hormone formation and in the transport of fats in the bloodstream to the tissues throughout the body. 
both cholesterol and fats are transported as lipoproteins, units having a core of cholesterol and fats in varying proportions with an outer wrapping of carrier protein phospholoids and apoproteins. An overabundance of cholesterol in the bloodstream can be an inherited trait. Can be triggered by dietary intake, or can be the result of a metabolic disease, such as diabetes mellitus. Fats, from meat, oil, and dairy products, strongly affect the cholesterol level. High cholesterol levels in the blood may lead to a narrowing of the inner lining of the coronary arteries from the buildup of a fatty tissue called atheroma. This increases the risk of coronary heart disease or stroke. However, if most cholesterol in the blood is in the form of high-density lipoproteins, HDL, then it seems to protect against arterial disease. HDL picks up cholesterol in the arteries and brings it back to the liver for excretion or reprocessing. What are the different domains of complementary and alternative medicine? Complementary and alternative medicine practices may be divided into four domains, mind-body medicine. 2. Biologically based practices, 3. Manipulative and body-based practices, and 4. Energy medicine. Mind-body medicine uses a variety of techniques designed to enhance the mind's capacity. To affect bodily function and symptoms. Mind-body techniques include meditation, prayer, mental healing, and therapies that use creative outlets such as art, dance, and music. Patient support groups and cognitive behavioral therapy were once considered CAM techniques. But are currently considered mainstream. Biologically based practices use substances found in nature, such as herbs, food, and vitamins, including dietary supplements and herbal products. One example of a natural product to treat a medical disorder is using shark cartilage to treat cancer. Manipulative and body-based practices are based on manipulation and slash or movement of one or more body parts. Manipulation may be part of whole medical systems, such as chiropractic medicine or osteopathic medicine. It often includes massage therapy to increase the flow of blood and oxygen to the targeted areas. The two types of energy fields used in energy therapies are biofield therapies and bioelectromagnetic based therapies. Biofield therapies are intended to affect energy fields that purportedly surround and penetrate the human body. The existence of such fields has not yet been scientifically proven. Some forms of energy therapy manipulate biofields by applying pressure and slash or manipulating the body by placing the hands in, or through, these fields. Bioelectromagnetic based therapies involve the unconventional use of electromagnetic fields, such as pulsed fields, magnetic fields, or alternating current or direct current fields. What is the interior of the Earth like?
the earth is divided into a number of layers. The topmost layer is the crust, which contains about 0.6% of the earth's volume. The depth of the crust varies from 3.5 to 5 miles, 5 to 9 kilometers. Beneath the oceans to 50 miles, 80 kilometers, beneath some mountain ranges. The crust is formed primarily of rocks, such as granite and basalt. How far away can thunder be heard? Thunder is the crash and rumble associated with lightning. It is caused by the explosive expansion and contraction of air heated by the stroke of lightning. This results in sound waves that can be heard easily 6 to 7 miles, 9.7 to 11.3 kilometers, away. Occasionally such rumbles can be heard as far away as 20 miles, 32.2 kilometers. The sound of great claps of thunder is produced when intense heat and the ionizing effect of repeated lightning occurs in a previously heated air path. This creates a shock wave that moves at the speed of sound. In contrast, the longest rainless period in the world was from October 1903 to January 1918 at Arica, Chile a period of 14 years. In the United States the longest dry spell was 767 days at Baghdad. California, from October 3, 1912, to November 8, 1914.